What's up guys, my name is Brandon and home screen widgets are one of the biggest new features introduced with iOS 14. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you more than 15 awesome widgets that you should download today. Now keep in mind that developers are still working on updating applications to include custom widgets. So if your favorite application does not have a widget just yet, it could be coming soon. But of course, there are a lot of applications that have already been updated with really awesome and really useful widgets that just make your overall iOS experience that much better. And so that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. So if you guys found yourself installing at least one new widget after watching this video, I would appreciate if you just went down there and hit that thumbs up button down below next to the subscribe button. So let's start off with some weather widgets. So the default weather widget is fine, but I don't know, I just really like the look of some of these alternatives here as well. And you guys may be in the same boat because weather is one of those widgets that I always like to have on my home screen even on my main device it's one of the very few widgets i actually use you know every single day on my device so this one's cool right here it's called weather line and it kind of just shows a line of the weather i just really like how it looks very clean and uh, you see it shows the city up in the top left the high and the low and the right we do also have some different looks for that as well so we tap and hold and then go to search for weather line right here you can see we have hourly forecast and we just have all these different views here as well. Now, one thing you guys will notice throughout this video and a lot of these applications is that there are in-app purchases for some widgets. So some widgets will be free, but some will actually cost money uh, just as an in-app purchase. So just keep that in mind throughout this video. But this is a cool widget. I really do like Weatherline. It looks really clean and it looks better than the default one in my opinion. So we do also have another one here, another alternative called Hey Weather. So this one's really cool as well. It has some nice little glyphs. Looks kind of groovy. It looks very like 80s almost with these colors, but looks really cool. And it shows all your vital information there as well. You do have three different sizes for hay weather as well. The one, the two by two is actually pretty clean as well. So it just shows the little glyph like that, which is pretty clean and looks nice on the home screen. Next up is a very useful widget called Parcel. So Parcel is an application where you can track your packages coming in. So if you have a package coming from Amazon, or if you have a package coming from Apple or something like that, and you want to track it, but you don't want to go into Safari and track it all the time, you can actually have a widget on your home screen now, which will show you, you know, when it's arrived, when it's delivered, when it's out for delivery and things like that, it will actually show it right here. So you can see I have something coming, you know, it's from Hong Kong, it looks like September 30th is the last time it checked for it. And then I have one up here as well. That's just made the shipping label so there's no data available but if i actually tap on that you can see it actually shows you know all the information about that specific package so really cool it's actually in hong kong right now waiting to be picked up so that's cool and i will actually see you know all the information from the widget right there which is pretty handy the next one is for all of my reddit users out there so apollo does have a widget which is actually really handy and really a lot better than i expected so apollo will actually have a couple of different layouts here as well so we go and tap and hold on the home screen and then just go to Apollo right here. You will see that we have a post widget. So it shows you a post from a Reddit feed of your choosing. And you can see you have different options for that. And then the multiple posts is actually pretty useful as well. But keep in mind, and this is gonna go for anything that relies on you know feeding from Reddit or feeding from the internet somewhere. Too many things loading you know on your home screen will degrade your battery life. So you will not get as good a battery life if you have a ton of widgets on your home screen that rely on fetching from the internet to you know show you the information. So just keep that in mind. But anyways, you can see here, we have the multiple post widget, post feed grid. You have all these different ones right here that you can choose from really, really cool. And of course you can have subreddit shortcuts and every time you click on one of those, it'll just take you straight to that shortcut. And you have like the joke switch. You have so many different options here. Really, really cool if you're into Reddit. Even if you're not into Reddit, I find this to be very useful for keeping up with the news, for you know finding funny jokes, just pretty much anything. It's pretty cool to just have on your home screen there. The next widget that I really like is Robinhood. So this is one that's kind of dangerous if you know what I mean. So if you're into trading options and things like that and you check the stock market every day, this can be very dangerous to have on your home screen because you'll want to sell things when they tank. But this is a good one to have if you are into stocks, and especially if you're you know long into stocks, if you just want to check up you know every day or every week or whatever on your stocks. This is a great widget to do that. That way you don't have to go into the Robinhood application every time just to see you know how you're doing today or how your how your stocks or your top stocks are doing for the day. And you can see up here as well, it shows the last time it was updated. So if you want to update it, of course you can click on it and it will update there as well. Actually, if we tap and hold on this and go to edit widget, you can see here, you can also change, you know, a lot of different things about it as well. So you could change the source. So if you want to have, you know, it'd be different watch lists. If you want it to be your holdings, 
like your stocks or your options, you could change that as well. And you could change the appearance and you could also change the display data to show the last price or the percentage change. So super useful if you are into the stock market and use the Robinhood application. And speaking of money, the next widget is a more useful one probably than the Robinhood widget, but this is called debit and credit. So this will actually monitor your spending and of course, I don't have anything in there to show I spent money, but this little circle over here will fill up. So you can see here, I have my budget set over here on the right for entertainment and for groceries. And of course it shows I've spent zero just because I just set this up on this phone, but you can integrate this with your card and things like that. And it will actually show you, you know, your budget and how you're doing without having to go into the actual application, which can be very handy for being on your home screen as a widget. The next widget is called Pennant, and this is really good for all these sports fans out there. So this will show you the standings for your sport. So I have it for NFL right now, and it shows all of the divisions and the standings right there, kind of just as pennants almost. So you can see, you know, of course it doesn't show the actual record, but the higher up they are, the better, you know, record they have. So pretty neat and this is actually pretty beneficial for being on the home screen maybe not so much for nfl just because you know that's a every week thing but for mlb it's very useful so if you go to edit right here edit pin it you can actually change the sports so you have mlb you have mls nba nfl and nhl so if you switch it to something like mlb and of course you could change the year here as well so we'll just go to what to say 2018 for example so you can see you know a lot of different things so okay i guess that's an upgrade so that's what i was talking about earlier some of these you will have to upgrade for to actually see that so let's see if we can see 2020 right here so there we go so there's 2020 i guess it's an upgrade to go back in time but you can see how it looks right there very neat i really like this widget a lot i still have not been able to find one for live sports scores yet so i'm assuming the espn or maybe the bleacher report app will be updated soon with that but this is kind of the next best thing seeing the standings on your home screen all right so the next two probably do not need an explanation and i won't spend too much time on these because i did cover these in previous videos as with pretty much everybody else on youtube but widget smith and color widgets are great widgets for completely modifying your home screen. So you can change a lot of things within Widget Smith. So we go over here to widgets and just tap on this. You can change a lot of different things in here. So you can have you know custom photos, you can have calendars, you can have reminders, you can have your step count, you can have clocks. You can change pretty much everything in here. So if you guys wanna see more in-depth coverage on Widget Smith and Color Widgets, I will link a video I made on customizing the home screen and changing your charging sound as well. That video will be linked up in the cards and down in the description below. But these two are very popular and definitely very highly recommended to customize the look of your home screen. They're not necessarily useful or really beneficial. They're more so just customizing you know, the look of your home screen. Next up is a widget called X Progress. So this is gonna show you the progress of the year. So you can see right here, it shows that we are 74.8% through 2020 thank the lord so you can see there it shows that pretty cool little layout now you can upgrade use in-app purchases to change the layout and the look of this widget but i don't mind the two by two right here it looks pretty cool and that's you know cool to have right there just so you guys can know when 2020 will end because i'm sure we all cannot wait for that but also we have this big widget right here as well that shows this percentage through 2020 and then also we have a custom event down here as well that shows we have 49 days left and it shows how much you know, is left of that. So we have 99.79% left until we get to that custom event that I just randomly set up there. So just a pretty neat widget for tracking the progress of days and a year or days until a certain event. Next up is another pretty useful one called usage. So this will actually show you a lot of the vital information about your device itself. So up top, you can see I have system version, my uptime, we have the name of the device, the last reboot time, which I thought is a pretty interesting thing to see right there. We have the battery level, which is good for those with notches because of course, that means you won't have to swipe down to see your battery level. And you can actually see that it doesn't update in real time because it shows 54% but I'm really at 52%. So that's the downside to some of these things that keep track of something that changes so often, like a battery or you know something like that. It's not gonna be completely accurate 100% of the time. So just keep that in mind. And then we do also have the memory over here as well. Now, if we go ahead and add and go to usage right here, you will see we do actually have quite a few other options we can change in here. So you can see you get all these, you have your data interval limit, your period limit. So if you do have like a Wi-Fi or cellular limit as far as data goes, it will actually show you how far along you are on that data period. You have your memory, storage, device, all these cool things in here for usage, which is actually pretty cool. Next up is Fantastical, and this is a good alternative to the built-in calendar widget. So the calendar widget is fine in iOS, but it's very basic and it lacks 
things like two months side by side, which I really like in Fantastical. So you can see there it shows September and October. I like being able to see two months. For some reason, I don't know if it's just me, but I like being able to see two months side by side, like you can see here. And then up top, you can see we have the big version of the Fantastical widget, and it shows the full calendar up there with a really nice, you know, September, Wednesday, the 30th right there. It just looks very nice how it's laid out, and it will show all of our events right there as well. So very, very useful to have on your home screen. The next one is pretty cool too. So this is called event time, and this will show you how long until an event. So it's very simple, but it can be very useful for something like the iPhone 12 event, for example. So we have about 12 days, 16 hours from the recording of this video until the rumored date for the iPhone 12 launch event. So of course, we don't know that for sure yet. That is just a rumor, but you can see here, this is what this widget does. It basically just shows you the time and until that event, and you can actually go ahead and change the image behind as well. So if we go into the application right here and go to edit, you can see down here, you can change the background image, the color, you can change the time, the description, you can change all these things in there and those will show up here on the home screen, which is pretty neat. Next up is an application called Food Noms and this will keep track of your calorie intake, your protein intake, and basically just tracking your weight gain or your weight loss progress. So you can see up here in the two by two, it shows my calories up top and then my protein intake down at the bottom there in orange. And then we have the food log right here as well. So you can see a banana and you can see all the stats related to the banana right there as well. And if you wanted to log food really quickly, you could just tap on this little search icon right there and it opens up the search inside of the application, which is pretty neat. So this is good if you want to just track, once again, your calorie intake throughout the day. The next one is somewhat related and this is an application called FitBod. So I covered this on my channel like three years ago and still to this day, this is one of my favorite applications of all time because it is just so great for knowing exercises to do in the gym and it's just the best overall gym tracking application I've found. But anyways, they do have a home screen widget here as well, which will show you, you know, how many times you've worked out in the week and what you have up next. You know, you can see it says chest, back, abs, and lower back is up next. And there's seven exercises for a total of 23 minutes. And you can just see all the cool little glyphs and icons in there as well. If you go ahead and tap on that, of course, you can change all your workouts in here as well. Great application if you're into working out at all or you want to work out. FitBod is a great application for that. And it's just a bonus that they also have a home screen widget here in iOS 14 as well. And the final widget I wanted to show you guys is called Motivation. So this is just a very simple one that will show you motivational quotes daily. So this isn't necessarily useful, like I said, but everybody could see some motivational quotes from time to time. And I actually like this as well. So you can see the one I chose now, you will either step forward into growth or you will step backward into safety. So that's actually a good one. Sometimes it shows some pretty lame ones, but you can go ahead and click on this and go into categories and you could change the categories or make your own mix as well. Now keep in mind that some of these do have the little lock there, so that means they will be paid. So if you tap on that, you can see you do have like a three days free, then $20 a year, which like I said, that's pretty common now throughout you know the app store in general with these applications. So just keep that in mind, not all of them will be free, but there are some pretty good ones in here as well. And it's something worth checking out if you're into motivational quotes and you can see there it changed once again. So there you have it guys. Those are more than 15 pretty cool iOS 14 home screen widgets. Now, if you guys wanna see a version two and episode two of this type of video, if you wanna see more home screen widgets, let me know. I do have a lot more written down, just kind of anticipating a second episode if you guys enjoyed this one. So let me know in a comment below if you would like to see more videos showing off some cool home screen widgets. But if you guys like this video and you like these widgets, let me know with a thumbs up and also a comment down below. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss out on any more iOS 14 widget videos and of course a lot more iOS 14 coverage in general. But anyways guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.